Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm just going to explain a couple of things I've been noticing in the market, which are fairly interesting to me, and hopefully they're interesting to you. It applies to both crypto and NFTs, but I'm going to be using a few NFT examples, and I will try to try to use some a few crypto examples. But do remember, it does apply to both. Of course, anything I say in this isn't financial advice. This is just my observations, which could be very wrong or could only have been for the couple of things I've been watching. All right, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to come over to OpenSea, and this happened just today. I don't, uh, I don't know when this is going up. It's probably a couple of days from now. But uh, this is Muri. It's an NFT project. It's by House 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 Phases. It's run very well done. It's an anime project. All right, so we're here. I've scrolled all the way back. I'm going to show you an example of it, and then explain my thought of why this happened. And also, my thought I knew this would. I felt like I knew this would happen. I purchased you. I'll show you my transaction and then why I felt like this would happen. I'll use other examples as well. Um, so basically, Muri is a 10K NFT project. It had 2,000 in uh, the public sale and then 8,000 ready for whitelist sale. Basically, it sold out at 0.3 in the public sale as a Dutch auction and then it instantly jumped to 0 0.7, 0 0.6 was its price. Um, and then I was in a lot of groups. I was in Muri group. I'm in one of my alpha groups. I'm in uh, the house group. I'm, I'm in a few different groups. I had whitelist for this as well. Uh, and I was like, everyone was saying, just wait till the 8,000 flood the uh, market. It's going to dump hard tomorrow. And I was sitting there. I was like, makes sense logically. But then it also doesn't make sense because price isn't dictated like instantly it's not dictated by the supply instantly or the demand instantly so I'm trying to trying to wear this in a way theoretically if you have the same amount of demand and you influx the supply increases a lot then yes the price will dump but that's taken into account that perfect information doesn't exist obviously it does you can see here these these are everyone who's buying before the 8000 gets introduced and it's like so what are you saying that Jaffa J4 FFA doesn't understand that 8,000 are coming in and that the price will go down. Yes, even though supply increases, demand also increases slash the price that people are willing to pay before the supply increase should reflect the price they're willing to pay after because people aren't stupid. People know that 8,000 are coming in. Therefore, even though it's at 0 0.44, after the 8,000 come in, it should be still at 0 0.44 because these guys all know that that's coming in and it's been a thing and you can see people panic, especially people who have got the whitelist for it happened with Gojira. I'll try to scroll back to that one. That will be much easier to show you as well, but I'll show you exactly what happened here. So it was at 0 0.7. And then over the course of the last 24 hours, it sort of slowly started dipping. And I set my alarm to wake up here because I was like, these seems like a good buy price. Um, and here you can instantly see, uh, at 7 p.m. I don't know what time zone this is, but this was 6 a.m. my time. Um, you can see it was trending at this price. And then instantly this person minted and sold for a massive price difference because they thought they're going to get ahead of the scandal. They're going to get ahead of the price drop, even though they didn't understand the information was already flowing and the demand was where it was at. Obviously, this isn't concrete. This isn't guaranteed. But you can see here, 0 0.33. And then instantly the price dumped. Yeah, you've got 0 0.35, you've got 0 0.38, 0 0.35, 0 0.32. Like these guys are insane to mint this and sell it at that price. And you will see my my name here. I purchased at 0 0.35 just to show you that I'm, I backed this up with actual action instead of just reflecting on it early. Um, and then that sat at that for a little bit because obviously people are minting and seeing this as the price so they're selling at that and they guaranteeing their uh, 0 0.15 profit but over time just because the information was flowing and the expectation was like this it sat around here for around an hour and then started going because the supply stopped being introduced at least the price stopped being had downward pressure in almost instantly because people don't understand the information and that's what i'm trying to get across here is expectation and demand sort of go hand in hand even if the supply increases because when everyone knows the supply is about to increase of course it's going to happen um this isn't a universal rule i was fairly certain on this one i didn't obviously didn't want to 
tell anyone else to do it uh, because this was a risk. But you can just see as I'm scrolling, it was just going up ever since then. And I was even still in groups and people were still saying, um, actually, I will get it up. I will hide the name. I will get up what people are saying. And it also seems to be if the general consensus is one way, it's kind of going the other way in the NFT market currently. Um, obviously, this is the same as crypto. It's sort of like selling the news where everyone gets hyped. Everyone everyone gets hyped. I remember with Curio cards, I was uh, Christie's auction, Christie's auction. They're going off auction. And it went from three, six. This is just the Apple I'm talking about. Um, boom, boom. And just keep going. And it just kept going up. And it hit 24. And then the day of the auction, literally the day of the auction, it was trading at eight. Because people just got so hyped for the news, expecting, oh, it's going to do so well. It's going to do so well. And then the news happened. Everyone just sold the news. Sold, 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 sold. sold. And it, it has not touched 10, has not touched 8 since that because people just sold the news hard. And oh, I'm not t- saying this guy's stupid, this guy's wrong. I'm just more so saying uh, people have to be aware of what the general consensus is and the flow of information. This is just uh, someone who was in my alpha group. Pro- the probability of going down is higher since it's not minted out yet. So I expect a new wave of sellers. This is when 6,000 are minted and it's already gone up. Um, seems like that consensus is wrong. <laughs> as bluntly as I will put it, I'm going to scroll up and show you what it's currently selling at. Only three and a half hours after those people dumped it for 0.3. I think you got a, a glimpse of it at the start. 0.65. So it's doubled since then. I've made a good amount of money today. I'm holding it for now. I will probably sell a little later. You can actually see what it's trading at currently, that it's currently sitting at 0.65, 0.63, which is actually a good profit in this morning since I woke up. Um, taking back some of the profit I lost on House Game, which was another one. Uh, it was hyped for only minted 500 of them, which was a bummer. Um, this also happened in Gojira, as I was saying. This is currently trading at 2.15, which is very good. Um, I also put my money where my mouth is at this one, but it was um, when it started minting, they did it weird. They didn't want their contract to be exploited. So they minted them all into one wallet. Um, and then everyone who had whitelist or everyone who was owned it, owed it, was just bought it from that wallet, which was a good way to do it, but it created so much uncertainty, which was very strange. It's a weird, weird, weird thing that happened. I'm going to get back to when they also spaced it out over like five days. So it was the Genesis people who are in the Genesis can mint. And then people um, who had whitelist can mint after that. But it was sitting at 1.3 because of this weird way of minting. I was like, this doesn't seem right. These guys were hyped. I expected them to be at four. I know other people expected them to be at four. So I bought it and everyone's like, don't buy yet. Don't buy yet. These are every, everyone in my alpha group slash who I was talking to about them. Um, they're like, don't buy yet. Once whitelist is there, people are going to be dumping just to take the profit. I was like, yeah, I understand that's what technically should happen. But this price should, as I was talking about, this price should just reflect that, basically. So I'm talking as I scroll, which I probably should. Um, this price should probably just reflect that. Uh, I'm still scrolling to try to get back to the thing, by the way. Uh, and it was just an interesting thing that I saw happen here which I then brought over to the Miri thing this morning, which I feel like is a new way of trading. Obviously, again, never financial advice. Uh, also, it's hard to put... Ah, here we go. We found it. Oh, I found it. So, exact same thing happened. It was trading at around 1.3, 1.37. And then the whitelist mint happened. You can see this guy instantly panic sold just before it happened, which again is reflecting that he or she thinks they will go down in price once other people get their hands on it and try to liquidate. Again, if you're the person who was scared and you want to take profit, there is absolutely no shame or nothing wrong with taking profits. It's just understanding the market, but holding all the way down to zero is also not the way to do it. I do want to make that clear. I just wanted to show you some findings because I feel like that's the point of this channel is to uh, show what we've been learning slash what we've been finding in the market, just navigating it ourselves. Um, I will try to find a screenshot, pop it up. If I don't, take my word for it. Uh, it was trading at around 1.3 and then instantly there were about 5 to 6 hours of 0.8 to 1. And then not 20 minutes later, it's back to 1.3. And then it's climbed, as you saw, as you saw when I clicked on it. 
It's now sitting at around 2.1, which is very, very high. I didn't expect it to go that high right now, but it's good because as I said, I put my money where I felt was right after learning a few things in this market. Not recommending, but just be aware of panic selling. Be aware of overconfident buying both sides of this. I'm going to get burned by this once or twice. I do know that. But thought I was just going to share my findings. It happens in crypto too. Oh, good example. I will show you. I've showed you this in the past. But fantastic example of this happening in crypto. Let me get it up. An example of this happening in crypto um, is when tokens get listed on exchanges. It's uh, obviously with there's expectation that it happens sometimes. Sometimes it's completely out of the blue. But both times this happens is insane amount of volume instantly on that token. I remember it vividly happening to Moon River again. Moon River was an Alex Becker recommendation. Moonbeam is just better than Moon River. I wouldn't be touching this. I do own some uh, because it's staked on a website for two years. <laughs> but uh, after doing more research on it, definitely, if you like the ecosystem of Moon River, Moon River was basically just a te test network of Moonbeam. Moonbeam's out now. Moonbeam's the way. You can see the volume change as well. So this was trading. What This is the 5th of November, 6th. 7th, 7th of November. And then on the 8th, a tweet by Binance came out and they said, we are listing Moon River on Binance. So in the span of four hours, it was over this four hours, I believe it was in the span of 20 minutes, it jumped from 370 to 460, which was insane. I was like, wow, I made profit. Oh my God, I made profit. And this is my first real experience of people selling the news, buying and then instantly selling the news. Also, could have been insider trading beforehand because I'm sure people knew, which also pumps it. Like I, This pump here may have been insider trading. Don't know. Not going to get into that. But very good way to make money if you do have the knowledge. But then if I expand the graph, is people just sold it. People bought it instantly. In Traders or whoever were like, wow, and then crash. This is just them selling the news because everyone's expectation was, oh my God, bye, bye, bye. This is so much, this is so good for Moon River, bye, bye, bye. And then people capitalized on everyone saying, bye, 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 and then sell. And then these people here were like, holy crap, uh, at least I can get out with a little bit of money. And these people are like, wow, it's crashing, uh, crap, sell. And then, as obviously, as we know, crypto crash, this coin got felt hard by the crypto crash. And then this is what happened. But this peak was the highest it's been since then was the hour that got listed on Binance. This isn't the only one that happened to but it happened with Joe as well, where it pumped from around $1.90 to $2. But it's probably this one here. Uh, and then it jumped up to $2.60 and then came back down instantly. And obviously, this is a little steady, I bet it's down a ton since it got listed. Um, it's more so it's just telling you to be aware of the general consensus. Obviously, general consensus, if it's all buy, 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 and it's something that is valuable and rewards people for holding and just observe the market. Yeah, I've, I've made these assumptions through observing the market in the past. Again, don't go out blindly and think that, oh, this go up because blah, blah, blah. Just observe the market, figure it out, learn, learn from the past. Even if you don't buy in, pretend you have bought in, check in on the market, check in on the, in fluctu the fluctuations, all of the above. All right. Thank you for watching. But hopefully this made sense. Hopefully this was valuable. If it was, please let me know that it's valuable in the comments. If, also, if you're here, congratulations to being making it all the way through this ramble of a video. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.